we have done Kinizaro reaction. Okay. And the Kinizaro reaction we have found that the, those LDHs who does not have alpha hydrogen, when you treat them with uh, highly concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, then they undergo mutual oxidation reduction, which is in one word we call it disproportionation to form corresponding alcohols and uh, sodium salt or potassium salt of their carboxylic acid. Okay. And there I have shown you various examples also. Hmm? So please remember that all aromatic LDHs are LDHs without alpha hydrogen atoms. So all aromatic LDHs will show you can you get a reaction. Okay. Uh, then I have shown you also that it may happen that two LDH units are there in the same molecule. And if they do not have any alpha hydrogen, then what will happen within the molecule itself, one of the LDH will be converted to alcohol and other part will be oxidized to carboxylic acid. Clear? Then I'll do one more, huh? one more, which is again even for your entrance exam. Just like that we have seen in aldol condensation, I have that cross aldol condensation. You also have cross Kinizaro um, reaction. In cross Kinizaro reaction, we take two LDHs without alpha hydrogen, but out of them, one is formaldehyde. Okay, formaldehyde <clears throat> is a strong reducing agent. So, what happens? Any other LDHide, if you have taken without alpha hydrogen, Along with formaldehyde, formaldehyde will reduce that LDH to alcohol and itself will get oxidized. Huh? Okay, so this is called cross Kinizaro. Clear there? Suppose I have taken here formaldehyde and I have taken here benzaldehyde. And I have taken here hydroxide this. So in that case, <clears throat> this is going to reduce this and it will be oxidized to carboxylic acid. So this is called cross Kinizaro. So what is going to happen? This will be converted into benzyl alcohol and this will be converted to this. So this is called cross Kinizaro. This is for your entrance. So please write down. Hmm. And this is in the cross Kinizaro, you have always have to take formal day. And any other LDH is out of my day. Okay? So please write it. Finish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, <clears throat> yesterday we started doing the reactions where we are considering the alpha hydrogen of the uh, alkyl group. And there, what is the heading? That treatment with alkali. Now, we are going to a second part of it where you find the hydrogen of the alpha hydrogen will be replaced undergo substitution reaction please write that the second heading substitution of alpha hydrogen substitution of alpha hydrogen 
of elevated LDH semitone. Substitution of alpha hydrogen of elephatic LDH semitone. Right. Below. Halogenation. Halogenation. Then right. The alpha hydrogen of LDH elephatic LDH ketone. Alpha hydrogen of elephatic LDH ketone can be substituted. by halogen can be substituted by halogen within bracket please write Cl2 or Br2 alright so let me take this pH this is okay. What is this? This is acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. So I have reacted this one with chlorine. So you have to take a solvent here. Solvent, we are going to take acetic acid. Okay, and you're going to heat it at room temperature. What will happen? This is the alpha hydrogen. So, this alpha hydrogen will be substituted by chlorine. So, what you are going to get? You will get here this plus H. What will be this name of this? This <coughs> common name is chloro D. And what will the IPC name? See here, this is one and this is two. So it will be two chloro ethanol. Okay. Now, if you have KC, if you have taken one is two on the shear, the reaction is going to stop there. But if you take excess there, all the alpha hydrogen will get substituted. So let me write again here. Cl2 acetic acid. So, what we are going to get here now? This. So, what we are going to, what will be the name of this one? No problem, we call it dichloro acetaldehyde. And IUPC name will be 2 2 dichloro. Ethanol. Now, again, we have done. So the last alpha hydrogen also will be replaced. So you will get here this one. Okay. So this is known as trichloro. Acetaldehyde. Okay. <clears throat> this is more commonly known as we call it chloral. This is a very important compound. You know why? We prepare DDT from this. This one, if you condense with chlorobenzene, you get DDT. Okay, so IPC is two 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 trichloro ethanol.
So these two products are going to form only when you take fluorine in excess. You need? Yes, sir. Okay. Now you do the same reaction with bromine. Same. It will be same. But the name will be different. If you take here Br2, this will be Br2. Name will be Brom. Name will be Brom. So again, if you take here, this will be HBr. If you take here Br2, this will be Br and Br. And this will be di. This will be bromo. Done. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we'll go for the electrophilic substitution. Electrophilic substitution reaction of aromatic aldehydes and ketones. Electrophilic substitution reaction of aromatic aldehydes and ketones. All right. So now, I told you that the carbonyl group is an electron withdrawing group. Okay. So what happens now? is going to deactivate the ortho and para position of the phenyl ring. And this electrophilic substitution reaction will occur at meta position. So right now here. Carbonyl group. is electron withdrawing in nature and it de 
एक्टिवेट दी ऑटो एंड पेरा पोजिशन ऑफ एरोमेटिक रिंग तो इलेक्ट्रो फिलिक सक्सटी ट्यूशन ऑफ एट मेटा ओके ओके नन यस सर तो वी आर गोइंग टू डू द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोफिलिक शक्ति इंडक्शन examples of electrophilic substitution reaction okay so first i'll do halogenation so i'll going to tell you something and it may be little important for your entrance examination let me do chlorine step so i have taken here uh benzaldehyde please remember i have written here only so these two are also this is meta this is per so i am doing chlorination okay so you require a halogen carrier that means what you call catalyst so you can take here ferric chloride or you can take aluminum chloride let me take here aluminum chloride all right what is going to happen the chlorine will come to be this position if i write it here this group i write it here then it will come here as i written it here it will come here so don't get confused because you always consider to be para no is para with the reference of this all right so what you are going to get here you will get meta chloro is get here meta chloro benzaldehyde meta chloro benzaldehyde or three chloro benzaldehyde or three chloro benzene carbaldehyde this type of names in names everywhere i cannot write you should know of okay, this now here one thing you have to understand all right what is that so we know halogens are highly electronegative element and highly electronegative elements always have a tendency to gather electrons from others so they are strong oxidizing agents so here i am this is not being mentioned in your book i will write here chlorine is an oxidizing agent then it 
oxidizes aldehyde to carboxylic group leading to the formation of what meta meta chloro benzoic acid it is after the formation of this one this will go oxidized to carboxylic acid that is you will get a mixture of aldehyde and carboxylic acid okay so you have got this one this will be oxidized to give you so actually you will get a mixture of this so it will result into the formation of metachloro benzaldehyde and metachloro benzoic acid so some if the question comes why the yield of the aldehyde is less you will write yield of the aldehyde is less because a part of the aldehyde get get oxidized to carboxylic acid finish So now let me do the rumination. Same thing. In the rumination, what will do? The second example, rumination. Rumination will be. So here also I will take one halogen carrier. I will take here bromine. and i'll add here alcl3 and here it get yes Done. Hello. Yes, okay. Now, so I'll do the combination of this. I've done for LDH. Now I'll do the combination of 
aromatic ketones. Say I have taken here CH3. See here the situation is very peculiar. Bromine can come here to aromatic ring, but we have also a alkyl group. And this hydrogen can be replaced. Just now we have seen also. Huh? So now this is having alpha hydrogen. So here, if the bromine goes here, we call it side chain bromination. Now, this you can control. You have taken a small amount. Okay. And heat and light. Bromine will go here. You will get now here. CH2, Br, and HBr. Now, bromine will not add to the main ring. This is known as phenacyl bromide or called omega bromo. Estrito, you omega bromo acetyl phenol. This compound is being used. Okay, this compound, it is a, I don't know whether my spelling will be correct. It is a lacrimatory compound. Lactimatory compound. Now, all of most of you are having biology. So, have you come across the uh, word called lactimatory gland? Hello. Did you come across this gland called lactimatory? Hmm. Have you heard it? No. Sir. It's a very important gland which is present in your eyes. This is the gland which controls the tears in our eyes. If it is the human gland, sir. Yes. Oh. If it is being irritated, either by some physical means or by chemical means. Excess flow of water takes place. So, one of the physical means means emotion. When you get extremely uh, emotional, in that case, that tear comes out from your head. And there are some substances are there. When you handle it, you find automatically tear comes from your eyes. One of them is that if you peel onion at home, what happens? Is it not the water comes out? Okay. What happens in onion? Moment you cut onion. That can, some chemical substances they mix with each other and they produce a vapor of sulfuric acid which irritates the eye. And because of that, compound. so this compound, when you prepare it, is vapor irritates our eye and you find continuously the tear is coming out from your eye. One of the reasons is that this compound is being used as a mob replant. Mob replant means what? It is also being used in TR gas. Okay. Now, if I do the reaction with excess of leaves acid, excess, then you'll find the substitution will occur in the aromatic ring. Like now, yes. A L C L T X. In such case, it will be
So please be clear. Okay, we we'll get here now. Meta bromo acetyl phenyl. You we'll get meta bromo acetyl phenyl. So it's excess of ALCl3 only excess of bromine, sir. Huh? Uh, if I have excess of bromine, then I have written here, I have written below ALCL3. So this okay. ALCL3 will be excess. Thank you, Okay, then we'll go for second is nitration. How the nitration is being done? We know the nitrating mixture will treat benzaldehyde with a mixture of concentrated. nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. So we'll get here we'll get now here meta nitro Done, finish. Yes, sir. Right now, again, note. Right. The yield of the aldehyde is less. Y I E L D yield means amount of product. Yield of the aldehyde is less. Yes. HNO3, nitric acid oxidizes. The aldehyde too. Metanitrobenzoic acid. Okay, now we'll do.
sulfonation. So how do you create sulfonation? We treat it with fuming sulfuric acid. Fuming sulfuric acid. I always told you the fuming sulfuric acid contains dissolved sulfur trioxide. Okay. Then in that case, you'll find it will give you. We'll do this. See, in this molecule, you have two functional groups. Aldehyde is there, and sulfonic acid is there. So, in the preferential order, sulfonic acid comes before aldehyde. So, I have to consider this as a substitution. And when aldehyde is a functional group, we call it aldehyde. But when it is a substitution, we call it formaldehyde. So, name is now will be one, two, three. So, name will be three. Formyl benzene sulfonic acid. Done, sir. Okay. So with this, we have uh, finished well, reaction ketones. I have done in exhaustive way. Okay. So now I will go to Are block three So we we'll go for now. Carbon three Right. Now, first of all, why the name is carbon See here. The functional group. Actually, consists of two functional groups. This is called carbonyl, and this is called hydroxyl. So, from here we have taken carbo, and from here we have taken X Y L. So. It has been named as carboxyl group. As carboxyl group behave as and acid 
So, C O O H is called carboxylic. Ben. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we'll go for nomenclature. Nomenclature. So, IUPC name, IUPC name is what? IUPC name is OE. That's it. We call it OE. And then we have gap visitor. All right. So, so now so you know how to write. See? S P T P W R P S F A. Secondary prefix, primary prefix, word root, primary suffix, secondary suffix. It doesn't contain any substitution. Neither is cyclic. How many carbon it has? Only one. So it will be M E T H. It does not contain any carbon-carbon double bond because only one carbon is there. So it will be A and E. Functional group OIC acid. The so name will be what? Name methanoic. This vowel, this will not be there. And Okay, suppose I have taken this. Okay, now see here, in this case, what is going to happen? How many carbon is here? Two. So I'll write now here. E, T, H. Yes, it is having substitution. Okay, so it is one, and this is two. So it is two comma, two comma, two. Try. So. Write the name now.
Look at this molecule. How many carbon it has? One, two, three, four, five. Does not contain any double bond or triple bond, which is A N. Now, how many carboxylic group it has? Two. To so write the position, one, two, three, four, five. So, what you have to write now? Two are there. So I write now here one five di. O E acid. Okay, now D is not a vowel, it is not a vowel, so it is, is going to remain there. It does not contain any substitution, so the name will be add and write it. Moment to finish with L. Yes, sir. Now see. These are very easy, huh? See now, if you have one more carboxylic group here, initially you have written pentane one third diavagacid. It has come in between, then it should be substitution. So I told you. According to 2003, this nomenclature is being changed because the functional group, I cannot convert the functional group into, into a substitution, same functional group. So what do you do? We consider all three of them are outside the main chain. If it is so, then it will be one, two, three. Okay? So this one is for your entrance exam. Now what we do here? Uh, we don't consider this as a, function, uh, as a uh, substitution, so we are not going to write anything here. All right. So now, how many are there in the main chain? Three of them. We will write here now. Prop. Okay. Now, oh, okay, this. And now, see on first carbon, second carbon, and third carbon, you have three carboxylic groups are there. So, as it is outside the main chain, just like in case of aldehyde, I told, if it is outside the main chain, we cannot call it AL, we have to call it carbaldehyde. Here we will write the full name of it. So it is one, two, two three, five, carboxylic. Okay. Please remember for your entrance exam. So the name is propane one comma 
ओके डन डन ओके Okay, now see here. Suppose I begin this. These are very simple, ah. Huh? I need not do so much. Okay, see here. This is called. I given you because this is a part of your food. Cinnamic acid. This is the one. You get it in Dalchini, cinnamic acid. So what will be the name? One, two, three. Name it. It's very easy. I've given you only that this name. You to put it there, and you'll get the huh, name. After speaking, you see it is in the chain, not outside the chain. So if it is in the chain, the name will be oic acid. Do that for work. Is that it? Yes, I did. Hello. Hmm. Yes, sir. So tell me the name. Three phenyl. Very good. Like I said. Are wonderful. Ah, huh, good, good. Very good. Okay. So now. Look here. Look, this is not aromatic. What will be the name? Look. In this case, as this carboxyl group is outside the main chain, so now you cannot write oic acid. Okay. <clears throat> so this compound is cyclic. It has no substitution. We'll write now here cyclo. Number of carbon six in the main main molecule six. Okay, does not contain double bond or triple bond. So what should I write here? A and E. And when it is outside the main chain, I have to write carboxylic acid. So it's called 
carboxylic acid. So the name of the molecule will be cyclohexane. One word. Carboxylic acid. Cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Hmm? Okay, done. Yes. Sir. Ah, very good. Wonderful. Let me see. Huh? How much brain you have? Huh? Write this one. Hmm. Okay. Who are there and who are missing? Aishman is there. Hello, yeah. Aishman. Acha. Yes, hello, sir. Then Anunkita. Anunkita is there. Huh? Missing. Acha. Then Oditi is there. Hello, Oditi. Very good. Then our socks and how we are going to number this molecule. See, when you go for numbering, first preference is functional group. After functional group, Second preference comes to double bond or triple bond. And the third preference will go to substitution. So, in that case, we'll number it from here. One, two. We'll not number from here because it's outside the main chain. Three, four, five, six. So, don't forget. Okay. This hex on the other side. And cycle. Okay, now this is the substitution. It will be six bromo. Then cyclohex. It contains double bond. So the, what is the position of double bond? It is two E and E. See here, this C is not a vowel, so this will remain. So this is the name of this compound. ভালো দেখায় না না Finish now. Okay. Now we'll go for aromatic. 
aromatic carboxylic acid. See, aromatic carboxylic acid, here also we will find the functional group is outside the main chain here. This aromatic ring, this is this. Okay, see, now it's not in the chain. And in aromatic, in aromatic, how do you name it? See here, very easy. It is prefix word root and suffix. Prefix means what? Substitution. Word root is what? Benzene. And suffix is the is a functional group. Okay? Functional group. So as it is outside the main chain, we cannot call it AL. So OEC acid. We have to call it full name carboxylic acid. In common name, we call it benzoic acid. See here, o OIC is there. So common name has no logic. Anybody can can put name to anyone like this. Is it not? Huh? See, benzoic acid. So, but what will be the IPC name? IPC name, it doesn't contain any substitution. It is benzene. And the name is carboxylic acid. Why? Because it is outside the main chain. So, what will be the name of this? We call it benzene carboxylic. Benzene carboxylic is one word. And this is separate. It's called benzene carboxylic acid. Okay? Please write the name of this. This is very important molecule. Huh. From here, we make nylon. Polyester cloth, all polyester that we are using, synthetic cloth is made from there. Okay? Uh, this common name is terithelic. Terithelic. Don't call it pathelic. Terithelic acid. Right? It's IPC name. And if your name is wrong, I shall go to your house. After that, I don't know what will happen. Right. Okay, Subankar Shah, are you there? Subankar? Hello, Subankar. When you are missing, then Daitinila? Yes, yeah, good, good. Okay, then Zedin? Yes, sir. Okay. Then my manager, only one time. Yes, sir. Ah, so then the, your new recruit, Kimi, is there? Yes, sir. Ah, any Kimi, if you have any problem, first you contact one son. He's a wonderful person, okay? Yes, ah. sir. Yes, yeah, he's as helpful as your Sarpalita. Hmm. Okay, what is the name? Dete? Hello? Zidane, what is the name? Acha, very good. No response, huh? sleeping, I think, na. Nah. I'm Minak. Minak? What is the name? I think I'll sleep now nah, if it is like this. I hopeless. Is one, two, three, four. So it is called benzene one four dicarboxylic acid. Benzene one four dicarboxylic acid. 
useless people. Okay, now I'll go for isomerism. We'll go for isomerism. Okay, so what we'll get now here? Uh, nuclear or chain isomer. All right, see. Suppose you have taken this. All right. So in that case, this is butanoic acid. What will be is nuclear and chain isomer? See here. It is two methyl propanoic acid. One is butanoic acid. I name also I have to write. Useless people. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like crying. Butanoic acid. Two methyl propanoic acid. Horrible condition, you put. I think someday you may forget the name of your own children. Hmm. So this is one example. Huh? Last, last. Okay, now second one is positional isomer. Okay, so take the example of this one. See there. Suppose I present this. So it is benzene one two dicarboxylic acid, or we call it phthalic acid. See, this is benzene one three dicarboxylic acid, or is called isothalic acid. Okay, and this one, just now I told you. Benzene one for dicarboxylic acid or called terephthalic acid. So these are the example of positional isomer. Then you have functional isomer. Functional isomer. Okay. I have taken this. This is propanoic acid. See this. This is an S. This is acid, and this is ester. So, yeah, this. So these are the functional isomers. This is propanoic acid, and this is called methyl ethanoate ester. Methyl ethanoate. Okay. Anyway, up to this much is enough. So when should I meet you? Let's say in a. Hello. Should I Hello, meet sir. you?